he's the one that got into pharmacy and drug stores. And he, oh, real estate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when his wife, uh, Frank Lady, when he, his wife got real sick with cancer, why? Uh, yeah, Frank instead of Robert. Frank. Yeah, it's Frank. And and anyway, why they knew that Ralph, brother Ralph, was going to school at Duke, and he went to see Ralph and asked Ralph if he could do anything for his wife because Ralph was in cancer research and no, Ralph could not do anything for his dear wife. And, and uh, of course, okay, there's a picture of what? Nosho River. Nosho River. This right. is Nosho River. And what? What? Uh, what's? I don't know. It's down in those falls, can That's where Uncle Gene was. Yeah, that's where they grew up and lived. In 1969. Yeah. And that's where um, Gene and. and yeah, that's, that's where I visited, right? When we went and got all those posts yeah. for the, the new dairy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where I'm going. Oh. Okay. Right down there by that river at, at Nosh Falls. Now, we have not figured out who these people are. I wrote something on the back, but I still don't know. Could that be the Tillmans? No. Well, I think their boys would be in the picture. Well, I think so too. I, I have no idea who this is. Here's what we run into, Rob. So, um, uh, but this is here, isn't it? Well, Where it's, is this? It's a dairy. Yeah, it's down there. But um, these people came to see us, and we took the <laughs> picture. And no, we, I don't remember. And, and uh, you see, uh, we, we've got uh, uh, this Yuma, Colorado is where the Smiths are, and we're grounded. And come to find out about it, we've grounded the whole family here at Yuma, Colorado. <laughs> I mean, my family and yeah. my wife's family and, of course, Dad's family and uh, Esther's family. Uh, so they they come to see us, but mom had gone through college, number one, and she had many suitors who we have pictures of, but have no idea who they are. Yeah. But she, we recognize mom there. Yeah, she was having a good time. That doggone mom of mine. But but you know here we are. You know. So. We, we, uh, and I'm glad that you guys, uh, you in particular, are taking some interest in, in this. Um, here's uh, who we got here. We, we don't know who these guys are. No, just forget. We don't know who those are. Is that Gene? No. Huh? I have no idea. I didn't know, and so I didn't write anything on the back of it at that time. You guys keep looking and talking. I'm going to be right back. I have a picture that I found down there I forgot to bring up. Uh-oh. Oh, look at there. That's got everything written on the back.
pretty. So that had to be in the 40s, probably. 46. Does it have a date? Good. Winter Park, Florida, taking Christmas Day. And here's Fred A. in Virginia. Yeah, I know right. That. Yeah. And uh, Everleady in the way. Good, good. Boy, we are really moving through the trip. <laughs> There's the Nosha River. And who are these young bats? They don't have any hair on their heads. Maybe it's on the back. Virginia. Fred A. But I don't know. Oh, Fred and Mother. Mrs. Mr. Eugene. Archer. And Mrs. A L D R I C H. Mrs. Aldrich, that's who that is. Huh? Mrs. Aldrich. Aldrich. Good for Mrs. T. Raymond Wright. Yeah, put all those pictures together. Let me put those in my stack. Trying to keep this stuff organized. <laughs> we are so highly organized. Yeah, what's this picture you got here, Rob? We can open it. It's a letter from your mom to your dad, I think. I think that's what it says. My dearest. You can read it out loud if you can. Yeah, please. Why do one of you? Who doesn't? Mm -hmm. my, my dear husband, Peter and I was late getting home. We go to... Mrs. Peter, 1250. Mom and I did not get waited on for two hours. He had to stop and see our a veterinary. I called Mabel and she said their yard was all a right, all right. Then Peter would take the tractor and clear it if some if he could could get it finished, they might come along and go to the hospital tonight. But they haven't called, and I it is seven. Well, Helen Hayden will be burned, buried Friday p.m. from no no funeral home. I will come along and stay at the hospital while mother is going to the funeral, unless I might get in tomorrow. When the road freezes, there are going to be bad ruts. Back is so, Ruth is, is back. She don't do anything. She don't need to. <laughs> Two. She was not at the hospital today for all this time. Your wife, Mary Virginia Shumway. So why were they at the hospital? They were at the hospital. This gal here, they were sitting well, with this John person Henry, that was dying. Huh? Probably it might have been for John Henry. Yeah. yeah. I'd say it was John Henry. And I, it was in all together. So, what is that picture? When is that? What that's was dad? Well, is that really dad? Yeah, that's dad at a co-op convention. At yeah. a co-op convention? Yeah. Well, he was down in Kansas City at the. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the go-to man. None of us kids, Robbie, will be as good as our dad. Of course. Yeah. Kids all say that. <laughs> no, Dad, he just Dad was a good a good man. He 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 just he got on everything. Well, he was he was a good leader, you know. He really was. Yeah. I don't know what ever happened to these kids.
kid, but he was a good man. Okay, here. Another surprise. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, there. I'm a school kid. Edward Har. Edward Har. This is me. It's well, Wayne, Roy, and Lori, Edward, and Ralph, Janice Swan, and Carolyn Swan, and Janine Carroll. Wayne Riley's in there, isn't he? Yeah, Dwayne's right here. Oh, yeah, right, okay. He said, me, Dwayne. Roy, Lorne, Ed Har, Ralph, Carol Swan, Jan Swan, and Janine Strickland. Right. Beautiful. Man, oh. oh my gosh. There we go. Steve Mitchell and Dave Gigline and Peter <coughs> Fox. Yeah, they took off and went to uh, they took off and went to uh, California. California. To do what? They just, they just drove. Yeah, we sat down at the bar one night and said, "Let's go to California. Let's go." So, if Joe Hickman had a new car, a new Pontiac GTO, and uh, we said, "You bring the car and we'll pay for all the gas." Oh, deal kind of like made. Jack Kerouac, right? Deal, deals <laughs> made. And the GTO was one of the hottest, 40th cars in the country at that time. Yeah. You know, it was the Pontiac top of the line. But anyway, we go buy something and we stop. This is a field of hops. Have you ever seen hops before? I don't think I have. Well, hops are what they make beer out of. Oh, yeah, course. yeah. But, but, uh, I think well, I've seen one plant, but not a field of them. Yeah, and see, they, they hang them up on wires and, excuse me, they go along with the harvester and follow that wire, you know, mm -hmm. and they harvest that row of hops, okay? But, but anyway, why we had to have a look at those hops and there's Dave Gigline and Steve Mitchell, and Steve Mitchell was in the paper today, uh, 50 years, 50, uh, years ago, why he and Bernie McCall went to the state track meet. They just There's two of them, and they placed Shame. Yuma seventh with only two Shame. guys running. <laughs> and those guys could run. And they they could were horrendous them. athletes. But anyway, this is Steve Mitchell and Dave Gigline. Dave, he's got back trouble and all kinds of medical problems up there in Vita now. But here we go. Who is this? I have no idea. Well, I think that was the old Bear Resident in you, but I don't know. Really? Did I write on there Alvira? Sure looks good. I did. I wrote on there Alvira. Wow, he's a beauty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this picture here, that's a famous picture. Oh, yeah. Here's Dad. Here's Larry Allen. He passed away. And here I am. Yeah. And Roy, he's on this board track. No, I took the picture. Okay, you took the picture. We've done, this is the way we dug the old side up. That little, that little digger. Yeah. We were tougher than a boot. Oh, we stopped. Wow, we were so good back then. Okay, there we go. Now there's, put that back in here. Mm -hmm. If I ever see it over there again, I'll show her that picture. I keep writing her, but she never writes that. <coughs> says keep on it, Virginia Smith. Is Drew Plant stuff ready? What? Do we need to get some soil? Some soil. Here, do you need that letter? Yeah. Robert B. Lee, PM. 
Dear Virginia, your letter got here yesterday. Our, 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 our sorry, John and Jay, John and James are having trouble about the land, but that is the way in the world. You world that is in the world. You see, this is my. 70th birthday day, and I'm feeling fine. I will plant potatoes after we get out the uh, big mall, mail, M A I L, mail, which goes here at 8:15. Your mother is is. Will and will go to have a K A S D E U E. Some say spell it out one more time. J G A S D E U E. I go to it. Yeah. Garden, gardens, 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 gardens some. Even going to have a garden, some truck, same truck, something like that. If we can raise it and beat all the H C L, we will stay when we are tell. Until we can't can't get our own place. Own place. So we will We <laughs> live back and read there and you you have I think. We will move but once <coughs> once here I get <coughs> I am getting used to the PO yeah, work. Oh well, that's right. And we'll handle it all right, I think. Oh, Connie, how are you doing? Okay. Oh. Well. July, 31st, that's a long way down the road. I don't know if I'll still be alive then. Okay, will you call me and remind me? Okay, thank you. That's fine. Bye. What you what you do? Oh, they want to give. They want me to give blood. I'm so oh, do you healthy. Give blood? Huh? No, I don't know what they want. They want me to change my doctor's appointment to July 31st. That's too much. <laughs> Can I remember July 31st for a doctor's appointment? You be sure and call me. Okay, is it for your heart? I have no idea. Who would call the hospital? It's not for my sperm count. No, it was from the hospital. Yes, it was from the clinic. And I'm okay. I do not have a heart, I do not know hardly what to do with the paper you sent, but filled in the, the same as I did mine. They will have, they will hand it to us in the way of taxes. If we are in something, I guess we are, although we are near Arapaho, well, I must quite, I must go to work, your father. Robert B. Leedy. His handwriting is very hard to read. <laughs> I have trouble seeing that stuff. Yeah. Just put it back yep. and whatever. I don't know. Just a letter. Yeah. Right? Is that a real letter to Virginia? Right. About taxes. Figuring out who, how to get the wash out on the line. <laughs> what is this?
some, I don't think we want to get into all the later than here's some pictures of Oh, this is, <laughs> I don't know how this stuff got in here, but that's Kathy and Miguel mm -hmm. and April and Christopher. Well, that's just lately. Yeah, it's just lately. This is uh, Jay and Becky and April. No, is, is that is that Becky or that's uh, Maureen? Might be. Yeah, a little bit too dark for April. But that's yeah. Here's uh, Jay and Hazel. Jay and Hazel, Roy and Becky and Maureen again. Yeah, right. You're right on. Okay, Becky and a little speaker there. Maureen. Yeah. Same thing here. Becky and Maureen. Yeah, Jay and Hazel. Jason, Hazel, Roy, and Maria. Yeah. 12, 9, 2, 11. Yeah. Not very long ago. Actually, in the skip of time. There's Roy and Maureen. Roy and Maureen, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Roy and Here's Kathy. Yeah. Roy, <coughs> Becky, and Maureen. Here's Hazel, Maureen, Jay, Becky, and Roy. Yeah. Roy and Sam there. They're, they're Becky, yeah. Roy, and Kathy, and Maureen. Yeah. Boy, it must have been a morning day. There's Jay and Maureen. There's, Mar there's Hazel, Maureen, Jay, and yeah. Becky, and Roy. Yeah. And here's Jay, Becky, uh, Kathy, Roy, and Maureen again. Wow. That's Maureen Day. Man. <laughs> He's right there. That Maureen, she's a crap leader. She's going to be real tall. Well, when I got Maureen with me, going somewhere, Rob, they don't want to talk to me. They want to talk to Maureen. And all she says is blah, 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 you know, she's so young, she doesn't know squat. But yet they want to talk to her. She makes a lot more sense than I do. <laughs> uh oh, here's some stuff. Let's see, what's this say? Who is this? You don't know any more about that <laughs> than we did the, the last time. Oh, here's a good one. This is Howard Moore. M A F A U D E. Uh, whoever that is, I don't know. Chester, Massachusetts, Christmas 1958. Wow, that's some of the grandma somewhere. Friends back there. Mm -hmm. I think that's mom there with. This is not wrong. I, it might be hers, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Here's the Renosha River again. Yeah, here's the Renosha River. More Renosha stuff. Now, this is the drive into Jay's place. In the Gene uh, Leedy's place. Right, probably right. hundred percent. You're right on. Those trees are gone. I mean they're they're just sticks up in the air. Them. Yeah. They're just yeah. Oh, I don't know who this is.
på at vi se bare op til den. This is uh, Dixie, or, or one of the horses. And there's, here's Virginia and Catherine. And uh, Virginia and Caroline. And Caroline and Catherine and Caroline all the way. Yep. Perfect. Didn't, they didn't say the horse's name, though, did they? No, I think the horse. Rascals. Well, there's one of McJay's oil tanks. Now, this is what the oil tanks look like down there. Wow. There's just money all over the place, pumping all up. Uh oh. This is an old. What does it say? Okay, here's Grandma Ann. Well, it'd be Grandma and uh, Mrs. B.S. Dark Grass. Mrs. B.S. is the Dark Grass. And Mrs. J. Smith left. But you don't know those people, right? Catherine S. Smith. I know Catherine. So, yeah. Catherine would be Pat and Jim Smith's brother's wife. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind and of confusing Matt between Margaret. Catherine out there and Catherine right. over here. And they called and said, Catherine, die! And I thought it was, I got the wrong Catherine when Aunt Catherine Gant died. Ooh, what's that? Oh, the car. Marilyn, this is uh, this would be uh, Jay's sister. They live in Kansas City. Yeah. And Robert Burns Leedy, this be uh, Jay's brother. And Jay Leedy. And Jay weighed thirty-five pounds. Well, he's kind of a heavyweight. He's the one that just had this bladder surgery. Yeah, okay. <coughs> you know, he's on the phone. On the phone, his voice sounds strong. You don't even tell how people feel by their right. voices, and his voice sounds strong, stronger than it sounded for six months. You know, so they said that they got in there and uh, they found uh, more adhesions than they expected. In other words, he had cancer uh, nodules in his bladder, but they progressed outside of the bladder and fixated to his um, uh, inner wall there, see? So it took one